Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So having a look at the US there, there basically overnight the uh, IMF has, has come out and said that the, uh, the Greek deal uh, is probably not that feasible unless there's a significant debt restructuring, i.e. debt haircut, um, which probably just makes the whole uh, conversation piece over in the Greek parliament that little, more, little bit more difficult to deal with. And it seemed to be a bit of a slap in the face for the, uh, for the Germans as well. So uh, Mark is not really, really reacting that uh, negatively to it in regards to equities. The euro is drifting down ever so slightly. And we've seen a resumption of the slide in Chinese equities overnight with 2.5-3% uh, drops across most of their major um, indices. Maybe about one and a half two percent drop over in the Hong Kong uh, index as well. US theory largely shrugging off most of this news, ticking up towards 18,112. Uh, up above moving averages, bullish cross in the MACD, uh, but uh, 18,112 uh, is seen to be a potential resistance level. So moving on to UK100, um, having a rechallenge again of 67.72, uh, which was a broken uh, support slash resistance from all the way back in September last year. Uh, we tried to break through there on uh, on Monday, uh, and we tried again today, but so far had a little bit of failure. Uh, with, US, with UK equities just about to open in the underlying, we'll see if we can get above there. But we are trading above the 21 period SMA, also bullish cross on the MACD. Uh, but we really need to get uh, above 67.72 and stay above there for us to then uh, try and bust through past that 55 period SMA as well. So moving on to Japan 25, um, I actually managed uh, quite a few decent uh, number of gains right here the last four days, apart from today where we're just. Um, drifting ever so slightly. Uh, Bank of Japan Governor Kuroda has kind of come out, talked a little bit about the uh, the Japanese economy, um, which seemed to be okay. Dollar yen is uh, I was kind of being flat from yesterday with one twenty three spot forty six. Um, so we're still looking for this um, opposing view. If dollar yen continues to to to, to increase, that should be seen as a positive for the Japan two to five as well. And certainly we're above the major dip we had when the Greece crisis was at its height with 20,868 still being the longer term potential resistance. So looking at dollar yen, um, not a huge amount of activity yesterday and again not so much today and we're a, a little bit away from that 124.42 potential resistance. We are trading above both moving averages, we've got a MACD just about across the zero line, the other technicals are neutral indicating there could be further momentum still to go uh, and we do have uh, Yellen's testimony today. Um, to Congress at the 2 p.m. UK time, I believe, and uh, people will be looking at for many hints regarding potential future interest rate uh, decisions. And we can't imagine there being that too many big positions in the US dollar before that testimony is out of the way. Um, looking at West Texas crude, obviously we, we had the um, the Iranian deal confirmed yesterday, the nuclear deal. It's going to take a number of months to ratify and confirm and get everything else all done and dusted before. Uh, crude oil um, exports from Iran began to hit the market and that's why we've seen actually an increase in West Texas crude. It became apparent that um, their supply wasn't going to impact the market right away. Uh, so we've had that little bit of a, bit of a spike. And um, we are a little bit away from 54.85 which is the longer term potential resistance. Um, so maybe a third of the distance away to here and two thirds back down to potential support at 49.40. Um, many investment banks talking about the long term future of crude as Kind of oil and efficiencies, uh, a new technology comes out, and the slowdown in China, etc., etc. Um, so it'll be worth it keeping an eye to see that 5485 level remains unbroken. So looking at gold, uh, gold still just slowly grinding ever lower towards 1137. Um, it will be massively influenced uh, on the downside by uh, very hawkish comments by Yellen. Which, to be fair, bear in mind that yes, these uh, retail sales were quite weak. Uh, I'd be kind of surprised if she was particularly hawkish in this specific meeting, but um, we'll have to wait and see how the markets react to that later on today. Finishing up with the euro dollar and GBP USD. So euro dollar is on the wrong side of one spot 11, iron up one spot 0786. All technicals are relatively neutral, again highlighting the fact that this from a technical perspective could still go lower and um, with the Greek deal potentially not as close to uh, ratification as many uh, many people would like. There's still a possibility that Greece will leave the eurozone. Will there be much of a debt debt haircut restructuring? That's all going to impact the euro in the short term as well. And if we finish up with GBP USD, 
Sterling really ramping it up, breaking through that potential sloping downward trend line that we had drawn on there a number of days ago. And between two ranges right now, one spot 56 and one spot 57.43. Almost got a bullish cross on the MACD. It was close to being oversold, but then reversed on the slow stochastic. Uh, from a technical perspective, we are actually trading above both moving averages currently. And it'd be good to see us get a retest, rechallenge of one spot 57.43. But I think we won't see that unless we get the fundamentals to back it up, which means we need to wait for Janet Yellen's te testimony. <coughs> <clears throat> Economic data wise, China is coming down a little bit uh, this morning, even though some of the data actually beat expectations. Their indices, as we said, started down about 3%. Later on today, we do have uh, unemployment claims from the UK, PPI from the US, and the crude oil inventories. Remember, 2 p.m., we've got uh, Janet Yellen's testimony for Congress. And uh, on Thursday, we also have um, CPI for the Eurozone and uh, not much else. And then on Friday, we've got CPI, Housing Stars, cons Consumer Sentiment, um, University of Michigan Sentiment Index data as well to round up the week. Um, but it's probably going to be Greece that many people are going to be thinking about just now and um, the big um, session that they have planned to get, get the deal that the Eurozone partners and creditors um, put to them um, through Parliament. And uh, with all this um, issues swirling around about the IMF comments, I'd be interested to see if that still goes through, but if not, like Greece still needs the money, otherwise their banking system is in a lot of trouble. So we'll just have to wait and see how that pans out. As ever, keep your eye on the chart forum, make insights part of your later going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.